Hello everyone and welcome back to A Little Cheeky. Today's playthrough is just one of the new demos that have come up on Steam's Next Fest, which is up to the 12th of February. And that essentially is just demoing, demoing games that are upcoming, popular, um, all types of different games, strategy, simulation games, action games, all sorts. I came across this one because it looks like a nice chill game, uh, sort of a point and click puzzle game. I don't know much more about it, but the aesthetics of it definitely interested me. So let's have a look. I think it's only like a 10, 15 minute sort of game playthrough. So we'll just see what happens. Got my head in the clouds despite my fear of heights. So from what I understand, it's sort of like a detective game of sorts where you're doing puzzles and everything. So yeah, um, let's have a look. So I think this is our person here. What you need to know, screen, items, collectibles, left button to interact and move around the map, alt on and off for a hint, don't think so, ready to click. Okay. For Detective Poor Trilby. Detective, evil practices are taking place in the hospital. The patients don't suffer from any mental illnesses. We need to help them. Meet me at the hospital, Dr. Susie or Sue. Okay, so the hospital's doing something dodgy. It's a bird pecking on a fish. A gentleman here. The truth may be considered by an, an unaware as a sign of madness. Okay. Oh, and we can go in. Oh, okay. We've got some oars, which is definitely handy because I feel like we need to move away. I'm just going to click around in case anything is hidden. Doesn't look like it. So let's, yeah, use the oars. Cool. Very nice, calm music. I really love the style of art, like the sketchy book novel type of art. It's very cool. Kind of reminds me this type of game of when I used to have many, many years ago a Nintendo DS uh, and then I got a 3DS. But the most popular game that I always played was like a detective game. And I think there was two or three of them in the end because they were very popular. Um, and my mum also played them. So we were literally obsessed with it. It was so much fun. Uh, it's, it's very similar style. Which I quite like. I quite like these games when you're sort of chilling and you just don't want anything too in your face kind of thing. Having to think this is just a nice calming evening type of game. I don't know how big the game is, but it's definitely uh, so far looks great. So he wanted some maggots or he looks quite sad, doesn't he? There are many mentally ill people on both sides of the wall. They should be cured in the hospital, but they believe in their hallucinations. Okay. Oh, it's an angry dog, so we're... Yeah, we're not getting in there. Okay, right. Anything here? Oh. A light. You go up, go up into something, maybe a building, sort of a building. Flash the light and it has some sort of shape on a building there at night time. Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh. Bone. Cool. So that hopefully will deter the the dog so we can access the room or the house local news the war divided society an increasing number of residents are criticizing the big wall built at the request of the hospital director that seems odd okay so we'll give you the bone thank you sir Ooh. dog is enjoying that bone so feel like that is maybe there uh, oh that doesn't look all right does it wait a minute here we go if i just align that a little bit better okay hmm ah ah Oh, the hair put me off. This hair here, <laughs> I thought it was, I don't know, spider legs, arms, I'm not sure. But 
The creator exists. I've been preaching my faith and now I have to hide from the doctors. Although, according to my belief, all of this has been orchestrated. He looks very unwell, but also very scared. So we have a club and we need a ticket. Okay. Right. Is there anything? Ah. I didn't really check that, did I? Okay, so we have an axe and we need to try and get over here. There we go. Excellent. A little little bridge for us. Cool. Some don't believe in the creator, but what if he exists? It's a question many people have asked in real life as well. I saw a doctor putting something in the mailbox. Okay. And you, lady? They claim they built the wall for our safety, but in reality, they want to exert even more control over us. Ah, here's the mailbox. I'm working on a transfer that will free us from all, all from here. You will need to be... You'll, let me try again. I'm working on a transfer that will free us all from here. You will be needed to activate it. I'm waiting at the hospital. My friends will help you get inside. The hideout of my friends and the hospital. Dr. Susie or Sue. So this must be the great wall that they're all talking about and whatever's beyond is probably what we need to get to. So maybe where the hospital is to keep everybody in. Ah, club ticket. Cool. Don't think you can do anything else with these. Yes, that's the mail. A spanner. Interesting. Missing. Oh, it's that dude. If you see him, call the hospital. Hmm, maybe not. What's this? Oh, a light sign. Okay. Is there anything else? Warning. The three-eyed may appear in the neighbourhood at night. So we want to come back to the club because we have a ticket. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, so you need a you need a specific hat. Okay. Oh, we need a key for there. And we need a coin. Oh. Ah, uh, oh, would this make the shape? Ah, huh. I mean, I didn't think that that would work, but it, it has. So is he going to get... Yeah, he is going to be fooled. All right, so we can't interact with the bar lady. This dude looks depressed. He has a coin. You have some balls. I may have had a few beers, but I can still see clearly. Get your sticky hands off my coin or I'll smack you with this mug. Oh, and now he can't see it. So can I take it? I can. Bye-bye. <laughs> so we're going to use the coin for the toilet. Okay, what have we got going on here? Cool. In in the bin, we've got a screwdriver, light, mirror, nothing, nothing. Oh, can we unscrew that? Yes. That's going on the tap. Ah. Uh, oh. Ew. Okay. Well, we have somewhere else to go now. Oh, no, not here. Can't go there. So is this guy going to give us uh, a spanner or a key? I'm sorry, what? Anything else in there? I don't really want to pick at it, but... Okay. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. Sorry, dude. My bad. Uh, okay, that's freaked me. That's like wigged me out a little bit, but... Anything else here? <laughs> cool. Um, so, we, yeah, we've got a few things. We've got need a spanner and we need a key. 
We can't interact with any of these buildings. We have that sign for night time, though. So it may be something that you come back for. Um, but we have the ID, so I'm thinking... Such a weird noise. Um, the screwdriver we used already, didn't we? So that wasn't for that. I don't see anything else that I can interact with, so we should be able to go beyond the wall now, though, because we have the ID. Yeah. And there you go. That is the demo. Thank you for playing the demo. Please stay tuned for updates. Wish list now. Leave demo feedback main menu. Cool. Well, that looks like quite a fun little game. Um, it, I mean, it feels quite sad, but... Uh, it might have something really sort of meaningful at the end of it. Um, I like the puzzles, I like the ideas, the things that you need to interact with, the point and click. It's a very cool, simple, but very pretty game. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to actually play that and see what happens at the end. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like, comment if there's anything else that you've seen on the free demos that are currently showing on Steam. Let me know, I'll definitely play them. I'll have a look for you if you're enjoying that type of content subscribe if you want to see any more the support is greatly appreciated thank you take care and until next time ta-ta